And I found out about this app called Yuka that lets you scan things. And it's not healthy. All right, so I talked about the Yuka app in a previous video, but this is exactly why these apps are inaccurate and they are not helpful. So she scanned her pita bread. This particular app gave it a poor rating, mostly because of the additives. But this is a perfect example of how these apps don't take into account dose. So one of the additives that this app says is hazardous, again, remember hazard does not take dose into account. So they're not taking the amount of any of these additives into account. So this particular one that they're saying is hazardous is disodium diphosphate. Now, of course, too much sodium, too much phosphorus in the diet can be harmful. That goes for literally every single vitamin and mineral that our bodies require to function properly. And of course, that doesn't mean that every single food that includes vitamins and minerals that our body requires is hazardous. The dose makes the poison applies to literally everything, phosphorus included. So they're calling this hazardous because excess phosphorus in the diet can be harmful, of course. Again, that doesn't mean that the dose in this pita bread is a harmful amount. So saying that these, uh, this pita bread gets a poor rating because of this additive they're saying is hazardous makes absolutely no sense. They are not taking the dose into account whatsoever. All right, so based on the nutrition panel and ingredient deck, there's going to be less than 1% of this ingredient in this pita bread. Let's just say it's at 1%. I did the calculation. That would amount to about 100 milligrams of phosphorus per um, one serving of this, so one pita bread. Recommended daily amount for an adult without um, you know, kidney failure or kidney disease is around 700 to 1250 milligrams per day. So in this pita bread, there's going to be roughly you know, 10 to 15% of that recommended daily amount in one serving of this. There is phosphorus naturally present in many different foods. So a three ounce piece of salmon is going to have anywhere from 200 to 300 milligrams of phosphorus. I don't think apps like this would call salmon hazardous. Similarly, um, you know, dairy products contain phosphorus. A one ounce portion of Romano cheese is going to have about 200 milligrams of phosphorus. Again, I don't think apps like this would be calling um, cheese and dairy products hazardous because of the amount of phosphorus. The tolerable upper intake of phosphorus for, again, a healthy adult that doesn't have, you know, kidney disease is 4,000 milligrams per day. That's 40 pieces of this pita bread per day. So at best, these apps are just incorrect. At worst, I mean, they're harmful. They're causing people, you saw in this video, she ended up throwing this away at the end. So they're causing people to throw away perfectly safe and healthy food. Not to mention making people afraid of perfectly safe and healthy food as well. Please don't use these apps.